We introduced you to Lauren Hill just after her 19th birthday. We were at the impromptu post-practice surprise party. When I got home, I told my parents that I was going to wear it around underneath all my clothes like it's a superhero uniform. <laughs> Days like this. Because it just reminds me of being strong. Yeah, you like to stay as strong as I was back then. The back then was her as a Lawrenceburg High School Tiger. Basketball had become her passion, but only because her soccer coach cut her as a goalie in her senior year, after not allowing a goal in her junior year. And she wrote a paper for English 101 entitled, When Everything Changed. Life isn't fair. People will always have things happen to them that will knock them down, but it's bouncing back to one's feet that's the most important part. So basketball it was, and on her 18th birthday, she committed to play at Mount St. Joe. And I was like, man, I gotta make a memory. Like on my birthday, I gotta make a good memory that I can go back and remember. And I decided that that was the night I was gonna call the coach and confirm that I was coming to the mount to play. The terminal diagnosis followed 49 days later. DIPG, diffused intrinsic pontine glioma, number 22 was given two years maximum to live. When everything changed, in the brain, but not in the heart, Motto is never give up. Not that she ever did before, so I wouldn't yeah. imagine that it would change <laughs> it now. It hasn't changed much, but. But she's still never giving up. I never for a second thought about sitting down and like just not living life anymore. And live she did with purpose. Her doctor said she could be the face of DIPG, a cancer that usually strikes children between five to eight. At first, it didn't really make sense to her, but after one particularly passionate prayer session in January, it became clear that she needed to be the voice for the children who couldn't articulate the frustration and the futility that she was feeling. Because I was desperate, and I would ask God that, I mean, I didn't want to be another local story that disappeared, and I just became another statistic on a paper. And I prayed that God would keep me there and if he kept me I would do anything I could to be the voice for little kids. So Lauren began her journey holding fundraisers and speaking out about the ravaging disease inside her head but not many noticed until basketball season approached and a new MRI. I knew in the back of my mind that it had grown. What did she say? Just <laughs> there's nothing they really do say. <laughs> I can't do anything. Given until December to live, Lauren was determined to play college basketball, at least one game. After Hiram College agreed to give up a home game and the NCAA granted an exemption, the game was moved to November 2nd. She put her teammates first, she's, she's put her family first, and just to give her that one last wish would be incredible from our, our program and our players. When we told Lauren's story, it became a goal not for Lauren or for her coach or her teammates. It became a goal for Cincinnati and then the nation to see Lauren play. The game moved to the Cintas Center, sold out to 10,000 fans in less than an hour. And on November 2nd, Lauren Hill played college basketball. The screen comes, the ball goes down to Lauren Hill, and the layup is good. A layup. that layup forever. One layup to open the game. The rebound, Dennis, back to Lauren. She goes back up and got it. And one to close it. She, of course, corrected me during the broadcast. Let's go call it my last game. You want to go somewhere? <laughs> this is my first collegiate game. She would play in four games before calling it a career, including a pair on the floor where she dreamed about squeaking those shoes. The Harrington Center of Mount St. Joe. Five baskets in all. Her point total? A perfect 10. Lauren had a goal to raise awareness and cancer research funding. DIPG has taken away way too many lives, but now with your help, you can do Layup for Lauren's challenge. And that superhero that she wanted to feel like was born. Network interviews, international celebrity. Lauren was making good on everything she said she would. I'm just so happy that it's having this big of an impact. And I want to thank everyone for <laughs> donating and helping research. The face for DIPG, the voice for the voiceless children, and the name behind the donations to fight the battle against pediatric cancer. I'm not fighting for myself. 
I'm fighting for others and I'm fighting for the future. Because if we find a cure for DIPG, the home run cure, we can cure all cancers. On February 6th, in a private ceremony for family, teammates, and friends, Lauren was presented with an honorary doctorate of humane letters from Mount St. Joe's, a doctor of humanity at 19. It seemed appropriate. You have accomplished much, even more than most of us here could imagine accomplishing in our own lives. She was a huge gift from God, and if he takes her back, then we'll have to deal with it, but why we had her for 19 years, she was ours. From the time I met her until the time she left us, Lauren Hill changed very little. The cancer changed her appearance, but it couldn't change her heart or her desire to serve <laughs> others and make a real difference. She became my good friend and I love her. When I leave, that's why I'm not scared. I'm not, well, I'm scared for everybody else, like my family and how they'll handle it. I know they'll be fine. Goodbye, 22. You were a hell of a player. And when you came along, that's when everything changed. Let's just absorb it in. Listen to him, champ.